Hello, um, I will teach you guys how to, um, draw cats my way. So, if the camera is, ignore it, please. <laughs> okay, so, first you're gonna wanna draw a circle. And then, we're gonna do a front view of the cat, and then... I'm gonna see if I can fit like an angled view of the cat. So you're gonna wanna do this. And then like the eye line. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing a lot. <coughs> Gosh. Okay, so and then we're gonna have to do like the muzzle circle. here in the middle we're gonna do the nose you can make it a wide nose a small nose not gonna hunt you down for anything <laughs> and then we kind of go up and then we go back down and then we go here and i do little circles over like and then what the edges here whatever they're called because i think it looks nice and then we put a line here and I do like three little circles here to indicate where the whiskers came, like grow out of or whatever. Let me get my eraser. Then I lightly erase. And I go over it again. This is. Well, I just like to like <laughs> do that, I guess. Okay. And then, if you want, you can make like the little nose um, section here, whatever this, whatever this is called. I don't like drawing. I like. I really like drawing this. And then, let me just adjust my camera. There, much better. And then we're gonna have two lines like this. Right now, it looks kind of stupid. Then we're just gonna go down. You can do many other eyes. This is just what I'm gonna do for this kitty. There are many, many other types of ways you can draw cat eyes. Then you just draw a little pupil. Just like that. And then for eyebrows, I know that cats do not have eyebrows. I just like to do them. And I normally do them like these little ovals because it looks cuter and aesthetically pleasing somehow. And then when I draw eyes, like I, I mean ears, like this section first. And then I just go down, and with the eye line, I just touch here. And then I can add anything, like, if I want my cat to have, I don't know, a little scar here, or another scar there, I can add it. And yes, I did draw a little cat there on my racer. <clears throat> and you can do like this, or wait, let me erase. Or you can do like a uh, open ear. I like to do like well, opens ears. Or I'll teach you how to do um, other types of ears later, so you can add variety to your OCs or variety to her cats and then we're just gonna mark the cat's chin here and then you can add um like bangs or extra fur here i normally don't do that with my cats but do whatever you want i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like chase you and hunt you down or anything And then, um, you 
can just like make everything look as even and as equal as you want. I like to make I like to make things look as like symmetrical as as possible because you know just just because I guess Just add like little fur. Just an easy pattern. There's many patterns of like fur that you can do. You can go wild with the fur con like the little head fur that you can do. I also like to uh, like do little lines here to like mark somehow. I well for some reason I like to do it. And then you can also add like little um, ear tips here. I do that just for the video. You don't have to, of course. These are just little fun little extras that I like to put on my cats. And you can also add a little ear fur like this or like this. Now I have a blank piece of paper and for all cats um, you're always going to start with a circle for the head. You don't need to start with the head. But I'm just more comfortable doing this. But I recommend you do so you can have like a more, you know, more. So you know where things go. That's what I mean. And then just gonna do another line, like a guy line there. And then I used to do like circles out of this in circle for the head. You can do that if you want like a looking down expression, but we're not gonna do that. I'll do that in another video. I put the cir muscle cir uh, like circle for the muzzle. I call them muzzle circles. And I guess it's fine. <laughs> the eye line. If my like sketch is really messy, Sorry. This <laughs> is. You can do like a little line here and there. I don't know how to explain this, but like that. And then you just go down. And then down here. You go. And then you just go like straight. And then you come down. And then the nose, I call it like that. And we're gonna make this cat happy again, so. So I'm gonna make this cat happy. Do it like that, and another circle up here. And then another line down here three circles here and then two here because it's like angled so you can't see the third circle and now we're gonna do another one another eye this This cat looks really sad, like happy, like grateful, sad, and I kind of like it. I think it looks pretty cute. <clears throat> and then again, little eyebrows, and I also I like this little circles kind of like from the eyebrow to the eye. 
because like I'm gonna put up a, like a picture of Simba or something because you can see like they have like little eyelid whatevers and I think it looks pretty cute and you can also here add like a little oval to, to like emphasize that there is an another body part there or something most of the things i add to my cats just because just because and because it looks cute so i will try to explain myself as much as i can <laughs> and then oh and if you see this little i give up thing up here that was from another drawing that i messed up <laughs> And then this time we're just gonna and keep in mind the cat's looking this way. So if you want to do like an ear, you're gonna have to do it kind of like this in like a little angle. And then you're gonna do this exact thing just over here and smaller. And a little wider perspective and again you can do like little bangs but I don't do that and then you can just add like a little ear fur here and another ear furs over here and I'm gonna do the same cat I did five minutes ago and I will do like the same fur pattern because it's easy to like copy again. And do this again over here smaller. And I could have I butchered this. It's not smaller, it's bigger. Um Okay. There we go. It's smaller. And now you can clearly see that the cat's looking this way. And now we're just gonna go back to like this side. And again, I'm not gonna do a full body. I'll do it for a body like another day or something. For another video, that would be good. From the back here, from like here to there, and this since it's at an angle, it won't come like from over here like the other one, but it will come from like the muzzle, like the muzzle here, and then we'll go there, and then we'll go down, and then you can like do this. If you want your cat to be proud, you can add, you can make. Um, like a lines curve even more and add more like fluffies like fur and then we'll just add and remember that like muzzle thing that I told you about you all about you did you make the one on this side um longer and then this one like really shorter because like emphasis on the angle and then I forgot about the little oh, ear. There. And so pointies. And there you go. You have drawn your cat. I will teach you guys how to do different eyes. Maybe different eye plus, maybe different oh, ear first. And now, so first eye we did is like this. You can also do an eye like this, which not much difference, but it doesn't make your cat look as like sad. Or maybe you can just do like this. 
for like a fancy eye. I think that would be like a good eye for like blue star or something. Or just like a little like bowl in the middle of this for like an optimistic kind of personality. Or um, you can also play around with like little different shapes. Like this is kind of like a triangle. It's kind of like a type of square this is an oval and this is a circle you can play around with different shapes and make different like eye shapes because most of these i made up or have seen like maps and stuff or like other artists because here's a tip you can look at other artists and see how they draw their eyes and then kind of like don't copy their eyes exactly, but like try and draw it and like modify it to your style. So don't copy it directly. You can, you know, change it around a bit for something that you like and it's original for you and whatever. And I can now let's draw the ear for these. First, let's draw an ear. Okay, so kind of like a little cute, classic um, cat ear, you know? And just like the little, you know? You can also do a mirror sound. You can also do like that. Or you can do. This. It's kind of the same thing, just more like pokier and not much care for it. And again, you can play around. You can just do like little scribbles, the little scribbles, and it will look cute as in no fur. Or you can just have no fur at all. I've seen many people draw their cats with no fur inside their ears at all, and it does look quite nice. And again, and that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, um, hope, <laughs> um, and uh, comment down below if you want to see more like cat drawing tutorials. And I'll see you next time. Bye.